towards the end of the day, they're going to start slowing down. They're going to be less productive. And we've seen this in sites where we've been able to take uh, the remote operator stations in, where we've got customers that are more productive throughout the day because they're not getting that same fatigue. In addition to that, we see improved uh, utilization because just like this, you're not going to have to bust somebody in and out to go to the dozer. You're able to go ahead and do a, uh, a shift change right there in the office. So you get a much faster shift change, better utilization. So these are some of the benefits of it. Now Jeff's up there, you can see on the left, on the right screen here, Jeff's actually running that dozer. Jeff, can you hear us? I can, can you hear me okay? Sure can. Okay. Yeah, it's like you're saying, it, there's certainly a, a disconnect in a positive way to this machine, um, not getting beat up, especially on a steeper slope than production slot goes in. It's nice, you're sitting here nice and comfortable. Um, I just hit my auto carry, so my hand's right off the blade. And, um, all I need to do is any steering corrections with that, uh, the pitch roll meter that I have on the, uh, the screen here. So there's a lot of tools uh, available to the operator that really make it a lot easier and, uh, and productive. It's really nice in my range of motion. It's nice and uh, very little, just sitting here nice and comfortable in there to the process. Up in, the, up in the office there, not only does he have, uh, he's, got the, he's got the same controls that he's got from the, uh, from the D11. He's got, you know, he's, he's got a console that's basically got his fingertip controls as well as his uh, uh, joystick control. He's sitting in a nice, comfortable cat seat. He's also got feedback as what well, the tachometer's reading, all those sorts of things. He's got video feeds and live to see what's going on. In addition to that, he's got uh, an audio feed. When we initially put this up, we didn't have the audio feed. We found people really like to be able to hear the engine loading up and understanding how the machine's running. So it adds that extra layer of, of depth perception for the operator in there. And he also has, you know, cut terrain for grading as well. So he can go ahead and see real-time feedback on how he's doing against the design file. You know, green means it's on gray, red means it's cut, and blue means it needs to go ahead and fill and go back over that. And, and he can also change the design fi uh, files on the fly. He can go ahead and make a ramp. He can go ahead and make a flat plane. So he doesn't need to go ahead and call out to you know, the engineering team, go make a file, send it out. He can do it all right, right there. And his fingertips are there, or if he's in, if someone's in the dozer as well. So the last thing we have, I guess, our semi-autonomous function where one operator can actually operate up to five different semi-autonomous dozers. And currently we are running with a slot dozing application.